The planet Venus is beautiful, but you definitely wouldn't want to go there. Hi, this is Tom's interesting thing of the week. This time we're heading off into space, the planet Venus more precisely. Now, I think all planets are beautiful. We're just hanging there in space, each of them unique, created over billions of years. But Venus is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty, so it must be amazing, right? Nah, not so much. Just standing on the surface would hurt. It's about 456 degrees Celsius for starters. That's hotter than Mercury, even though it's further away from the sun. But that's because of your next problem. The atmosphere on Venus is almost entirely carbon dioxide, so you wouldn't be able to breathe. The next problem is the surface atmospheric pressure is about 90 times what it is on Earth. So that would really, really hurt as you'd be crushed instantly after you were burnt to a crisp, that is. Oh, and it rains all the time. And the rain is actually sulfuric acid, which is probably going sideways because of the constant 450 mile an hour winds. So yeah, maybe book your future summer holidays somewhere else. So what's our life lesson this week? We should learn from Venus. Planets might be huge and powerful, but they are also very fragile. We don't do anywhere near enough to look after our own planet. And in theory, albeit unlikely, what happens on Venus could happen to Earth as a result of human activity. It is something very close to my heart and it fills me with pain if I think about it too much. But Venus's atmosphere is described as runaway. It can never be reversed. We need to work harder to protect our planet because at this rate, we will either destroy it or it will destroy us. So there we have it, vast, varied, sometimes very, very odd. This is Tom's interesting thing of the week. Don't forget to follow for future updates and I'll see you next time.